the past, present, and future of Native American theater. I am Daniel Banks, the Chair of Performing Arts at IAIA, and we are also joined by Conrad Skinner, an architect and set designer who has a great interest in the history of IAIA and the Palo Solari Theater. So guests, welcome. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. And please begin your trip down memory lane. We had a conversation last night that served as a warm-up, so feel free to continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, Today, we're, we're talking about uh, Lloyd. Uh, even though, do you realize, Bruce, how much he was always in our classrooms mm -hmm. and uh, with us, around us? Mm -hmm. And then seeing the old, um, the, the, uh, the, his, his um, design, the fabric design. Remember how flamboyant he dressed? Mm -hmm. And his mm -hmm. scarves, he, he never wore the same one right. twice. I bet, I bet he had 300 and some, <laughs> 300 and some a year, but, but the, like, they were around to protect, to let us grow. But the Solari Theater, the Kiva Theater was too small for us, and when we moved in, they were talking about the, uh, the big theater, which they referred to it, then the Solari. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember seeing this little guy always walking around, looking, seeing, and checking us out. Turned out to be Solari. Mm -hmm. Remember him? Mm -hmm. He was very small. Yeah, yeah. You know, very small man. You know? well, I remember seeing the uh, the initial um, plan, you know, the uh -huh, little they, diorama. Yeah. And uh, I I wasn't. It, of course, it changed. Oh God, you many know, transformations. It and and I, I, I really didn't. I, well, of course, I didn't know anything about architecture or anything. I, I just wasn't. But how old were we? I was you like seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were <laughs> masters <laughs> then. <laughs> but uh, you know, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah what good was luck. That? I, oh I yeah, just didn't right. understand. And and uh, and and but uh, you know, I, I I had come from a, a background. A performance at a place in Wisconsin Dells called Stand Rock, mm -hmm. and uh, at different, uh, you know, my first uh, con with performing arts was those exhibition dances, mm -hmm. and and they used to do the pageantry. Oh sure. You know, they unfurled the flag and they yeah, did the right. in the sky, and, and so I could kind of see that happening in there. Right. You know, and and um, and I thought, well, you know, I can see people dancing down there. Mm -hmm. you know, I could see the horses. And, and, but it wasn't until the summer of '77, when we actually did productions in there, that I realized how how well that accommodated oh the division. Because but the we, exits and entrances and we, were so well planned that we, we needed a changer. Exactly. We had Starboy coming out exactly. from the top, and we had people coming out of Under. the trees up and out. Yeah, and yeah. Was, you know, like you say, coming. Mm -hmm. we, we we did Body Indian instead of being on the stage. The four drunks come walking yeah. down the down the canyon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're good. Yeah. So but it, yeah. I, I, it never came into its for its its greatness. Its though. potential, right? It right. never, it never. I, I was very surprised to hear that Santa Fe did not embrace it. I thought it was going to be embraced not only by our school, but I thought the city of Santa Fe was going to use it in the fine arts as well. Yeah. I, I had no idea, I, nor did I, nor did I think it was going to be in uh, music. I thought orchestration, mm -hmm. opera, mm -hmm. not rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't mind hearing rock, yeah. you know, but it, I thought it was a, it was for uh, the living arts. Well, it, that was the thing. It was really commercialized. You know, mm -hmm. they, they started doing. Um, UFC extreme cage fighting down there. And, oh my lord! Yeah, and and uh, you know, so it was. It had kind of spiraled down to just an entertainment uh, center. Uh, center kind of mentality. Yeah, and and it was it was sad to see that. And in the meantime, while there were things going on on stage, the rest of the complex was deteriorating. <gasps> so the upkeep. I know that I remember people talking about the upkeep of the lights. Mm -hmm. the exposure of the elements, mm -hmm. that it would uh, actually hurt it. Yeah. And um, and I remember the talk of how they were trying to keep that from happening, and the money to do so it was a great 
expenditure. Yeah, yeah it would need right. a, a general overhaul. Yeah, because uh, we went over there uh, at the beginning of last semester and took a look at it. They had fenced up and condemned. <gasps> you know, so did they let you in? No, we didn't ask to go in. You know, we, I probably would have broke my heart to have to walk <laughs> through there, but uh, you know, we, we could see it through the fence. Uh -huh. Tell Jane the story about the pianos. Oh, you know there was a Steinway down there? And, and when we did uh, a show, when we were here last... A uh, classic, a huge... Yeah, yeah, it's a... It's a not a baby, Steinway. a grand. No, no, it was the Steinway. We went, uh, we did some performances here at, when we were on our College of Santa Fe, and so we were going to, with that in mind, the Indian Theater should be done in that Indian space, and we, we were able to lease a, a weekend from the Pueblo Cultural Center in the center. So we got, got to go down there, and of course we had to use an outside uh, production lighting in order to do it, but we went down in the chambers and everything was moldy, and uh, sitting in the corner with that Steiner. Uh, I don't know if you remember that, but it's one oh of those, my God. It was under one of these corroded parts, and nobody, and, and nobody, nobody bothered. Oh my Lord. It. I was like... But there was. It was know, already yucky. Yeah, it was yucky, you know, because they, they hadn't gone down there in, in years and years and years. You know, and so it was, if you remember the, the you know, the backstage and the green oh, rooms sure. and everything, yeah. they were all, when we were, when it opened, it, it was stated It was beautiful. Yet. It yeah. was, it was just, you just felt good to be an artist. It's like Denver Center Theater. Yeah. They designed it in a way to make you the artist. He, person who designed it let you know that the exit ent entrances you have time and you're not mm. gasping for breath when you make your entrance mm. you know and and so this was very much way ahead of it yeah yeah so really the cool. logistics were good for, oh, gosh. for actors oh, yeah. and dancers and dancers and I'll bet you if they had opera it would have been grand for it opera as well. built to for a natural amplification, so you didn't need a sound system down there. I you very much Greek. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. much Greek in, in my eyes. Uh -huh. It was very much Greek. Yeah. Did you all perform Sipapu then? Sipapu was uh, rehearsed in, in the Kiva, uh -huh. and then we went outside actually in Sipapu to per perform it in uh, one of the Sipapu, uh, and and then we went to Carter. At Bruce, were you involved with Sipapu? No, was that Shorty's? Yeah, no, no, it wasn't. Sh uh, Nahazan was Shorty's. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Nahazan. But um, it was, uh, uh, I think it's a Rollins. I think that was. I think it's Rosalie Bruce. Jones was the main choreographer, if I may. Yeah, if yeah I may no, but the, 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 <laughs> but the, but the uh, actual drama of it. The, 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 oh, really? The, I think uh, she was the main choreographer. Uh -huh. uh, she was the one that rehearsed us, and we moved. But uh, I think it was between uh, Rosalie and um, Meinholz worked a lot as a unit together, and so uh, the rehearsal began. And then, oh God, it was horrible. with <laughs> other with <laughs> with other with other Native Americans who were in, who we met in D.C. who joined the group. And uh -huh. all of D.C. saw, as a unit, we rehearsed in this sweltering, wet mm -hmm. place, and then it opened there. But the, the main, our, our piece was the center of the drama, and the, the part of the Cherokee Nation was there. And this is the time that I remember going in this bus, the, they had driven from uh, the reservation, the Cherokees, you know? Mm -hmm. There was this blonde guy, and I said, oh, it's kind of funny. Uh, this is stereotyping. Mm -hmm. Talk about stereotyping. <laughs> uh, there's this blonde guy, and uh, in comes this elder and sits down, and, and I said, oh, it's so neat. They, it's like uh, we, they usually have a person of color driving, being driven, and we have, we have our own person of not color driving. And halfway through, when we were going to the Carter Baron Theater, he turned around to the elder. They started conversing. That was his grandmother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't ever judge yeah. a book <laughs> by its